for a minute Is it only me out here? No one seems to think that I fit in But I don't wanna be like them No, cause I don't wanna be like them Cause I know that I, know that I, I had a dream that someday I would just lie Hello and welcome back. It's great to have you join us. I'm really excited for today and the news we have to share with you. It's amazing to think that this is our third major event in just the past two months. In the midst of enormous challenges this year, our teams have remained focused and they haven't stopped innovating. We're on an unbelievable pace of new product releases, delivering more new products this fall than ever before starting with upgrades to our powerful operating systems, as well as our other remarkable products, the incredibly capable and affordable Apple Watch SC and Apple Watch Series 6, putting the future of health on your wrist, an entirely new fitness experience with Apple Fitness Plus, a convenient way to subscribe to Apple services with Apple One, the new and more powerful eighth generation iPad, and the stunning and versatile new iPad Air, the amazingly capable and compact HomePod Mini. And we began a new era for iPhone with iPhone 12, and for people who want the most out of their iPhone, iPhone 12 Pro. We're so excited, iPhone 12 Mini and iPhone 12 Pro Max will begin shipping this Friday. But there is just one more thing. It's time to talk about the Mac. We love the Mac. It's in our DNA. And it's the tool that we use to build our phenomenal lineup of products. Our users love it too. Today, the Mac is stronger than ever. It continues to lead the industry in customer satisfaction as it has for over a decade. And more customers than ever are choosing the Mac. In fact, the Mac business grew by nearly 30% last quarter and the Mac is having its best year ever. And the Mac continues to attract new users. Today, over 50% of buyers are new to the Mac, which is simply amazing. And all around the world, people use the Mac to do remarkable things. Like the Mac itself, they challenge the status quo. They take chances, they create, they innovate. They use the Mac to help change the world and we'd like to celebrate them. There's a certain kind of person who doesn't take no for an answer. They don't walk in quietly. They parade in, trailblazing, eyebrow raising, status quo breaking. Raising greatness, braving hatred, and taking up space. Never got a seat at the table, so they can't sit and behave. They'd rather defy the rules and amaze. There's a certain kind of person who doesn't wait for greatness. They make it. It's great to see how people use the Mac to do such amazing things. The Mac has always been about innovation and bold change. In June, we announced that the Mac is taking another huge leap forward by transitioning to Apple Silicon. And we promised that the first Mac with Apple Silicon would arrive by the end of this year. Well, that day is here. To tell you more, 
Here's John. We love the Mac, and our teams have been working tirelessly to deliver the best lineup of notebooks and desktops that we've ever had. Well, now it's time for the Mac to take a gigantic leap forward. To do this, we needed to develop a new set of advanced technologies. So for the past several years, we've had our teams working with the singular purpose of defining and building the next generation of Mac. And at the core of this effort is the silicon. We've been making Apple Silicon for more than a decade. It's at the heart of iPhone iPad, and Apple Watch, and now we want to bring it to the Mac. So the Mac can take a huge leap forward with the incredible performance, custom technologies, and industry-leading power efficiency of Apple Silicon. And as we've said, we're developing a family of chips, and we're going to transition the Mac line to these new chips over the next couple of years. Well, today, we are incredibly excited to announce our first step in this transition with our first chip designed specifically for the Mac. And we call it M1. M1 has been optimized for our most popular low power systems where small size and power efficiency are critically important. It is a stunningly capable chip and it ushers in a whole new era for the Mac. Now let's get started by spending a few minutes on a deep dive into this new chip with Johnny. M1 is a breakthrough chip for the Mac. Our approach with M1 was to deliver industry-leading performance and features while relentlessly focusing on power efficiency. As a result, M1 delivers a giant leap in performance per watt, and every Mac with M1 will be transformed into a completely different class of product. M1 is the first system on chip, or SOC, for the Mac. Let me show you what that means. Until now, a Mac needed multiple chips to deliver all of its features. It had chips for the processor, I.O., security, and memory. Now with M1, these technologies are combined into a single SOC, delivering a whole new level of integration for more simplicity, efficiency, and amazing performance. M1 also features our Unified Memory Architecture, or UMA. M1 unifies its high bandwidth, low latency memory into a single pool within a custom package. As a result, all of the technologies in the SOC can access the same data without copying it between multiple pools of memory. This dramatically improves performance and power efficiency. M1 is the first personal computer chip built using the industry-leading 5 nanometer process technology. With incredibly small transistors measured at an atomic scale, M1 is remarkably complex. It packs the largest number of transistors we've ever put into a single chip. M1 has a massive 16 billion transistors, and we use all of these transistors to give M1 amazing performance and leading edge technologies. And our goal is to make each of these technologies best in class. The incredible performance of M1 starts with the CPU, which features two types of cores, high performance and high efficiency. Each performance core is designed to run a single task or thread as efficiently as possible while maximizing performance. We've been advancing it year after year. And now with the huge improvements in M1, when it comes to low power silicon, our high performance core is the world's fastest CPU core. And M1 has four of these incredibly fast high performance cores. So multi-threaded workloads take a huge leap in performance as well. To handle lighter workloads more efficiently, M1 brings high efficiency cores to the Mac. They use a tenth of the power while still delivering outstanding performance. These e-cores are the most efficient place to run lightweight tasks and allow the performance cores to be used for the most demanding workloads. And M1 has four of these efficiency cores, which on their own deliver similar performance as the current generation dual-core MacBook Air at much lower power. And finally, M1 has our latest performance controller that determines in real time where code runs for maximum performance and efficiency. Altogether, the 8-core CPU in M1 is by far the highest performance CPU we've ever created. And more importantly, it delivers this performance at the lowest possible power. In fact, the M1 CPU leads the industry by delivering the world's best CPU performance per watt. Let's take a look. Here is the CPU performance and power usage of the very latest PC laptop chip. And here's M1. M1 delivers significantly higher performance at every power level. 
and adjust 10 watts, the thermal envelope of a MacBook Air, you can see that M1 delivers up to two times the CPU performance of the PC chip. And M1 can deliver the peak performance of the PC chip while using just a quarter of the power. This is a big deal. What you are seeing here with M1 is extremely rare. When you look back at the single-threaded performance of low-power silicon in the Mac, gains in performance per watt have been very small from one chip to the next. But when we look at M1, we see a massive three times improvement in performance per watt. This is unheard of. Now, what about graphics? We design GPUs that deliver the maximum graphics performance in the thermal envelope of each of our products. This results in a balanced system with a GPU that complements the incredible performance of our CPU complex. Typically, PCs can't achieve this balance with integrated graphics. To get great graphics performance, they have to use a discrete chip which consumes a lot of power. M1 is different. With its integrated graphics, we get the best of both worlds, incredible performance and low power. The GPU and M1 benefits from years of thorough analysis of Mac applications. It's the most advanced graphics processor we've ever created. And with up to eight of these GPU cores, M1 is capable of executing nearly 25,000 threads at a time, from teraflops, to texture bandwidth, to fill rate, along with its incredible efficiency, M1's GPU is in a class of its own. Here is the graphics performance on power usage of that same PC laptop chip. And here's M1. M1 delivers significantly higher performance at every power level. With M1 delivering up to two times more graphics performance than the PC chip. And again, M1 can deliver the peak performance of the PC chip while using just one third of the power. When it comes to personal computers, M1 has the world's fastest integrated graphics. Now, Apple Silicon is more than just a fast CPU and GPU. We pack our chips with powerful custom technologies. M1 features our most advanced neural engine. With a 16-core design, it's capable of executing a massive 11 trillion operations per second. The entire M1 chip is designed to excel at machine learning, and tasks like video analysis, voice recognition, and image processing will have a level of performance never seen before on the Mac. Finally, M1 integrates our latest generation secure enclave. It's faster than ever and brings best-in-class security to the Mac. So that's M1, our first SOC designed for the Mac. With its eight-core CPU featuring the world's fastest CPU core, Along with an 8-core GPU that delivers the world's fastest integrated graphics, M1 leads the industry in performance per watt. And it has leading-edge technologies like the Neural Engine, Thunderbolt and USB 4, a faster secure enclave, our latest ISP, and more. With its unique combination of remarkable performance, powerful features, and incredible efficiency, M1 is by far the best chip we've ever created. And we're absolutely thrilled to bring it to the Mac. Now, back to John. It is so incredibly exciting to think about the Macs we can build with the performance and capability of M1. The Mac has never had a chip upgrade this profound. But the silicon is only part of the story. For all Apple products, it's the tight integration of our hardware and software that makes the user experience so amazing. To deepen this integration on the Mac, we use Mac-specific software workloads to optimize the architecture of M1. And in the same way iOS and iPadOS are built to maximize our A-series chips, macOS Big Sur has been built to maximize M1. To hear how it unlocks entirely new experiences and capabilities, let's turn it over to Craig. For the first time ever, we've been able to design macOS for our own silicon. I'm so excited about what this means for the platform. Our latest release, macOS Big Sur, is absolutely incredible on M1. Big Sur introduces a bold new design, powerful updates for apps like Safari and Messages, and the latest improvements to our industry-leading privacy features. And by designing the whole system together, hardware and software, we're able to make the things you love about your Mac even better. Your Mac now instantly wakes from sleep, just like the iPhone and iPad. Let me show you, but first, let's set the mood. But don't you know. How cool is that? And with M1, things you do every day, like launching apps, are nearly instantaneous. And Safari, which is already the world's fastest browser, really shines on Apple Silicon. 
It's now one and a half times speedier at running JavaScript and almost two times more responsive. The whole system is distinctly snappy and system animations are buttery smooth. The sheer speed of M1, together with macOS technologies like Metal, deliver a huge boost to the most demanding apps. So you can render 3D animations or edit raw video footage with ease. Now, part of the secret behind this breakthrough performance is M1's unified memory architecture. We built macOS on Apple Silicon to use the same data formats for things like video decode, GPU, and display. So there's no need for expensive copying or translation. And macOS gives apps access to more graphics memory than ever, unlocking breakthrough performance for tasks ranging from color grading 6K video to playing graphically intensive games or performing real-time machine learning inference. Big Sur also features advanced power management, which intelligently allocates tasks between M1's performance and efficiency cores, automatically optimizing for lightweight tasks like reading a note or performance intensive tasks like playing a game. So your Mac gives you quiet performance and even better battery life. When it comes to security, M1 represents a major leap forward. For years on iOS, we've worked to continuously advance the state of the art for computer security. And with M1, we're bringing this architecture to the Mac. This includes not only hardware verified secure boot and automatic high performance encryption for all your files, but also new security protections built deep into the code execution architecture of M1, giving you the most advanced security of any personal computer. Mac OS Big Sur is engineered down to its core to fully take advantage of all the capability and power of M1. And it does this all while maintaining everything you love about Mac OS. Of course, we've optimized all of our apps for M1, from every app that comes with Mac OS to every other app made by Apple. Apps like Pages, Numbers, and Keynote, and GarageBand and iMovie are showing us how great performance can be with M1. For example, with Logic Pro, you can run up to three times more instruments and effect plugins. And Final Cut Pro can fly through tasks like rendering a complex timeline up to six times faster. We can't wait for you to unleash your creativity. Now, macOS Big Sur has incredible technologies that enable you to run a greater range of apps than ever before. First are universal apps. Simply put, universal apps are the fastest, most powerful apps you can get. Universal apps include a native binary version built for Apple Silicon, as well as a native version for Intel processors. The two come together into a single app that you can download from the App Store or from the web, meaning that one app can run on all of your Macs. We're hearing a lot of excitement from developers as they get ready to launch their universal apps. For example, Omni Group is bringing universal versions of all of their great Mac apps, and Adobe is bringing universal versions of their apps, starting with Lightroom next month, and other flagship apps, including Photoshop, early next year. For existing apps that haven't yet upgraded to Universal, Big Sur includes an amazing new technology, Rosetta 2. On M1 systems, Rosetta seamlessly runs apps built for Intel-based Macs, so even without an app update, you can keep working on that Fusion 360 project and get to the next level in your favorite game. Thanks to Metal and M1, some of the most graphically demanding apps actually perform better under Rosetta than they did running natively on previous Macs with integrated graphics. It's really incredible. The transition to M1 is also great for developers. M1 scales up the architecture that they're already accustomed to on iPhone and iPad, so they can optimize their code across the whole family. And these new Macs can do something that no Mac has ever done before. For the first time ever, you can run your favorite iPhone and iPad apps directly on your Mac. You'll have more games to play, more content to watch, and more apps for everything you want to do. All together, you get access to the biggest collection of apps ever for the Mac. And it's only going to get better as developers continue to build new apps for M1. Here are some of them in action. Hey. Hi. Oh, hey, there you are. Hello, world. Hello, Hello world. world. I work for a company called Panic. Cinema 4D. Old as Gate 3. I've been at Adobe for over 20 years. At Panic, we make Mac software. A coding app for kids. Mm-hmm. Helps people be less boring on video. When we first heard about Apple Silicon on Mac, we're announcing that the Mac is transitioning to our own Apple Silicon. 
very <laughs> it uh, blew my mind. One word was amazing. amazing. We were just waiting for this specific moment. <laughs> what does this mean? for the desktop. A device that we all think we know so well. We got the first developer units uh, as soon as they were announced. This was the easiest transition that we've ever had. Getting our apps ready for Apple Silicon on Mac literally took us a day. We didn't really have to do anything to port to them. Hit the run button. Took me 10 minutes. Here we are, we got this, we got this, we got this. Boom. Wow. You immediately notice that it's incredibly fast. We can move much faster. There are some operations which are really quite remarkable. Select object, we've seen that operation up to eight times faster. We can travel the entire world of the Forgotten Realms without any kind of texture popping. It was rendering two times faster. Three times faster. Four times. Eight times. Ten times. Much, much faster. Super schneller. Mega schnell. People are going to be blown away. There's some dark magic at work. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It just feels super smooth. Super smooth. You don't have to use any of that. <laughs> For us, it's always about the power. The more powerful the computer is, the more we can have fun in our apps. For example, using a Cormel to automatically detect hand position. And an 8K drone footage. Hundreds of thousands of layers. Millions of objects. Almost limitless interactivity. Rotate, zoom. We can keep zooming in, keep zooming in some more. At this point, we're 100 million percent zoomed in. The future that I dream of, let me look into the crystal ball. A seamless workflow from your phone or your iPad to your Mac. Pushing the limits on each and every surface. You open that giant file and boom, it's there. See the infiniteness in what you can create. It's just a different level of what we thought was ever going to be possible. We are in the future right now. This is going to be huge. What can't we do with Apple Silicon on Mac? Um, Super good question. It's amazing to see developers take advantage of the incredible performance and features of M1 and Big Sur. We can't wait to see them reimagine what apps can do. Over to you, John. of M1 and Mac OS Big Sur is super exciting. It truly takes the Mac to a whole new level. So now we have all the technologies we need for the next generation of Mac. And it's time to introduce the first Mac with M1, a product where the power efficiency of M1 changes everything. Here it is. This is the new MacBook Air with M1. The day the first MacBook Air was pulled out of that manila envelope, it defined the category of thin and light notebooks. And our users have been loving it ever since. Now, with the groundbreaking efficiency of M1, the new MacBook Air will completely redefine what a thin and light notebook can do. To tell you all about it, here's Laura. MacBook Air is the most popular Mac. In fact, it's the world's best-selling 13-inch notebook. Users love its stunning retina display, great everyday performance, and incredible portability, all in a sleek wedge-shaped design. These days, users are working more from home, learning remotely, and using the Air to stay connected, making performance and battery life extremely important. And we're thrilled that M1, our first chip for the Mac, enables MacBook Air to do things that were previously impossible on such a thin and light notebook. With eight incredibly powerful cores, the CPU soars to a whole new level of performance.
That's up to three and a half times faster than the previous generation. So if you're editing family photos or exporting a video for the web with iMovie, the new air blazes right through it. Or if you're working in Lightroom, you can manage huge raw libraries at unheard of speeds, turning your air into a mobile photo studio. And with the world's fastest integrated graphics that feature up to eight cores, Air delivers up to five times faster graphics performance. That's the biggest leap ever for MacBook Air. So when it comes to gaming, you can play immersive, graphically intensive titles at significantly higher frame rates. And for the first time, you can edit multiple streams of full quality 4K ProRes video without dropping a frame. That's mind blowing for such a thin and light notebook. And when you compare MacBook Air to the best-selling Windows laptop in its class, the new Air is up to three times faster. And what's even more amazing is that with M1, MacBook Air is faster than 98% of PC laptops sold in the last year. Now let's talk about that neural engine. With 16 cores, machine learning workloads are up to an astonishing nine times faster than the previous Air. So apps like Final Cut Pro that use ML-based features such as Smart Conform to intelligently frame a clip can do so in a fraction of the time. And even storage gets a performance boost with SSDs that are up to two times faster thanks to the M1 storage controller and latest flash technology. So tasks like previewing massive high-res images or importing large files are super quick. What's also remarkable is that with the industry-leading efficiency of the M1 chip, Combined with the power management in Mac OS Big Sur, the new Air delivers all this performance without a fan. So no matter how intense the task, MacBook Air is completely silent. And that same incredible efficiency also delivers extraordinary battery life with up to 15 hours of wireless web browsing and up to an amazing 18 hours of video playback. That's six hours longer than before. And when you're video conferencing, which can rapidly drain the battery, you can go up to twice as long on a single charge. This is the longest battery life ever in a MacBook Air. And as users connect with friends, family, and coworkers remotely, we know camera image quality matters even more. So we're excited that with M1, Apple's latest image signal processor comes to the Mac. This ISP delivers better noise reduction and greater dynamic range for sharper images and more detail in shadows and highlights, as well as improved auto white balance combined with ML enhanced face detection so you look more natural on your FaceTime calls. In fact, everything looks stunning on the 13 inch retina display, which now supports P3 wide color for even more vibrant true to life images. And with the secure enclave at M1 combined with Big Sur, Air delivers best in class security with features like Touch ID, which make it easy to unlock your Mac and make secure online purchases using Apple Pay with just the touch of your finger. And finally, all these powerful features with a completely new level of performance are delivered in a sleek wedge-shaped design. With M1 and Big Sur, we've taken the MacBook Air and transformed it into something far beyond any other thin and light notebook. And even with this gigantic increase in performance, along with its new features, the Air still starts at just $9.99. And for education, it starts at just $8.99, delivering way more value than ever before. So that's the new MacBook Air. With M1, it has jaw-dropping performance, three and a half times faster CPU, five times faster GPU, all in a silent, fanless design. It also has a more vibrant retina display, improved camera quality, and incredible battery life, up to 18 hours, the longest ever in a MacBook Air. So once again, MacBook Air completely redefines what a thin and light notebook can do. Back to you, John. This new MacBook Air is amazing. So think about what we've done here. We've taken our most popular notebook and with M1 given it more performance than 98% of PC laptops sold in the last year. A huge increase in battery life. And at the same time, we pulled out the fan. That's just nuts. With that unbelievable combination of performance and portability, it is by far the best MacBook Air we've ever made. But that's not all, because today we're bringing M1 to another beloved Mac. And here it is.
This is the new Mac Mini. The tremendous level of integration offered by the system-on-a-chip design of M1 allows us to pack a remarkable amount of performance and capability into its compact design. To tell you more about it, here's Julie. Mac Mini delivers the Mac desktop experience in an incredibly small form factor. Our users love its outstanding performance, array of connectivity, and signature design. And most of all, they love its versatility. It's why you'll find Mac Minis everywhere, from home offices to home theaters, studios to render farms. Today, M1 comes to Mac Mini bringing a seismic shift in what an ultra-compact desktop can do. With the 8-core CPU in M1, Mac Mini delivers up to three times faster CPU performance than the previous quad-core version. This is a monumental leap in CPU performance for Mac Mini. So if you're a developer compiling a million lines in Xcode, or a musician using Logic Pro to take music production to a whole new level, performance never skips a beat and the 8-core GPU gives the Mini a gigantic six-fold increase in graphics performance. This enables you to do things you wouldn't have dreamed of before on the Mac Mini, like designing a graphics-intensive game in Unity, or when the work is done, cranking up the graphics settings while playing a great game like Baldur's Gate 3. The Mini has an outrageous amount of performance in such a compact design. In fact, if you compare Mac Mini to the top-selling PC desktop in its price range, the Mini is just one-tenth the size. And yet, it's up to five times faster. Mac Mini just blows the competition away. And there's more. With M1 bringing the neural engine to Mac Mini, machine learning workloads take a quantum leap forward with up to 15 times faster ML performance than the previous generation. This means the new Mac Mini will supercharge innovative features that are powered by ML, like magically increasing the resolution of a photo in Pixelmator Pro, giving it more sharpness and detail. It also makes Mac Mini a great machine for developers, scientists, and engineers utilizing deep learning technologies like TensorFlow or CreateML which are now accelerated by M1. And with the Mac Mini's advanced thermal design, M1 is unleashed, easily sustaining its breakthrough performance while the Mini stays cool and quiet. When it comes to connectivity, there's an array of I.O., including two USB-C ports that now support both Thunderbolt and USB 4 to connect a wide range of peripherals including the Pro Display XDR at a full 6K resolution. With the M1 chip and Big Sur, our most versatile Mac packs a staggering amount of performance and incredible new features. And even with all of its power and capability, Mac Mini now starts at just $699. That's $100 lower than the previous generation. No other desktop combines such breathtaking performance with such an affordable price. So that's the mighty new Mac Mini. Powered by the M1 chip, it takes an enormous jump in performance with a three times faster CPU, six times faster GPU, and the neural engine that boosts ML performance up to 15 times. The new Mac Mini is a phenomenal desktop that's far more versatile and far more capable than ever. Now, back to John. This really is the most incredible Mac Mini we've ever made. Thanks to the integration and phenomenal graphics capabilities of M1, this new Mini will enable high-performance, general-purpose computing in a way that was never before possible in such a compact design. There's never been a Mac Mini like it. But we're still not done. You've seen how the efficiency and integration of M1 yields incredible capability and performance in the MacBook Air and Mac Mini. That performance is so good that it's also an excellent choice for another one of our most popular Macs, the perfect Mac for many creative pros.
Here's the new 13-inch MacBook Pro. With M1, our most popular and affordable MacBook Pro dramatically changes your expectations of what a compact Pro notebook can do. And to tell you all about it, here's Shruti. The 13-inch MacBook Pro is the best-selling notebook in its class, and it appeals to an incredibly wide range of users. Students rely on it to get them through college, and pros use it to channel their creativity and produce awe-inspiring work. Users love it because it delivers powerful performance and has a gorgeous display, all in a sleek and portable three-pound design. And with M1, the 13-inch MacBook Pro becomes way more powerful and way more pro. The eight-core CPU delivers up to 2.8 times faster performance. This is game-changing for developers using Xcode who can now build their apps nearly three times faster than before. And for photographers using Photoshop who can apply filters and effects to high-res photos faster than ever. When it comes to graphics, the eight-core GPU is up to a whopping five times faster. So whether you're using Shaper 3D to design a new product or constructing an immersive new world in Cinema 4D, the new MacBook Pro handles it all with ease. And when compared to the best-selling Windows laptop in its class, it's up to three times faster. In fact, the new 13-inch MacBook Pro can do things that no other compact three-pound Pro notebook can do, like playback 8K ProRes footage in full quality in DaVinci Resolve without dropping a single frame. And when it comes to machine learning, performance is spectacular. Thanks to the neural engine, ML is up to 11 times faster than the previous generation, which means for on-device ML tasks that use the neural engine, the 13-inch MacBook Pro is the world's fastest compact Pro notebook. The new MacBook Pro also features an active cooling system. This allows it to sustain its remarkable Pro performance when ripping through intensive tasks like video transcode in compressor. And even with all this unbelievable compute power, the battery life is simply amazing. Thanks to the efficiency of M1 running Big Sur, the new MacBook Pro delivers up to an incredible 17 hours for wireless web browsing and up to 20 hours for video playback. That's 10 more hours than before. And that's the longest battery life ever in a Mac. And with this combination of performance and awesome battery life, the productivity of our Pro users goes through the roof. For instance, software developers can compile four times as much code on a single charge. The new Pro also has studio quality mics with an improved signal to noise ratio. So whether you're on a FaceTime call or recording a vocal track, audio will be super clean. And it benefits from the M1's advanced camera ISP. So when users are connecting with coworkers on video calls, they'll have sharper video with less grain and better contrast and detail in low light conditions. With Big Sur and the Secure Enclave, you get best-in-class security features like Activation Lock, which helps protect your Mac if it's ever lost or stolen. And finally, with its two Thunderbolt ports with USB 4 support, the new Pro connects to more peripherals than ever, including the Pro Display XDR at full 6K resolution. All these mind-blowing leaps in performance, new features, and amazing battery life still fit in the same incredibly portable three-pound design. With Big Sur and the M1 chip at the heart of the 13-inch MacBook Pro, it shatters the limits of what a compact Pro notebook can do. And with all this performance and new capabilities, the new Pro is still just $12.99 and just $11.99 for education an incredible value for both students and pros alike. So that's the new MacBook Pro. With M1, our most popular MacBook Pro gets a tremendous boost in CPU, graphics, and ML performance. And along with its studio quality mics and improved camera performance, it has the best battery life ever in a Mac. This is more than a massive upgrade. The 13-inch MacBook Pro is the ultimate expression of what the M1 chip can do. Now back to John. We couldn't be more thrilled about the new Mac Mini, MacBook Air, and MacBook Pro. They're the first of a new generation of Mac. It's the same Mac experience you know and love, yet faster and better in so many ways.
These systems offer up to three and a half times faster CPU performance and up to six times faster GPU performance, which is the largest generational improvement we've ever had. They bring many of the best features from iPad and iPhone, like instant wake, long battery life, incredible ML acceleration that's up to 15 times faster, and industry-leading security to the Mac. And by building upon a common architecture, these new Macs can now tap into the world's largest and most vibrant software ecosystem. We're also proud that these products have been carefully designed to support our net zero carbon goal. The cleanest energy is the energy you never use. And thanks to the efficiency of M1, energy consumption is reduced by up to 60% when these products are in active use. So while there is always more to do, we're thrilled with the progress we've made. It is so exciting to be able to reinvent three of our most popular and affordable Macs. And to make things even more exciting, you can order the new MacBook Air, Mac Mini, and MacBook Pro starting today. And they will all be available next week. And Mac OS Big Sur will be available this Thursday. These new systems with M1 join the rest of our Mac product line, including some phenomenal products that we've introduced over the last year. This is by far the strongest Mac lineup that we've ever had. The transition to Apple Silicon is going to have a profound impact on the Mac. It will bring performance and capabilities that have never been possible before. Now this journey will take a couple of years to complete, and we have a long way to go, but we're off to one heck of a start. We are so proud of this new family of products, and we can't wait to see what our users are going to do with them. Now I'd like to turn it back to Tim, but before I do, here's a short film we made to celebrate these new Macs. I hope you enjoy it. The chime is back? I love the mm, sound. This chip. I see Apple M1. It's the Apple chip. Oh, that's cool. I mean, I'm just going to get right into it. It opens like that. It's super responsive. Wow, it's really fast. It feels very playful. Quick, 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 quick. It's got eight cores in it. And this tiny thing. Not even warm. It's probably cooler than my own hands. The battery is uh, more time than I generally spend awake in a day. No noise, it's absolutely silent. I can't hear anything. What's really satisfying is when you're sitting with someone and they go like, I want it to be like, <laughs> and you go like, great. And you can, the faster you can make that happen for them, like that to me is like, like wizardry. There is a magic that happens here. It's really about letting me create faster than my hand can move. I'm doing this on a MacBook Air now, which means it's more accessible. I can get used to this. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my God, so fast. That's crazy. This truly is a huge day for the Mac and a huge day for Apple. Advancements of this magnitude only come from making bold changes. The M1 chip is by far the most powerful chip that we have ever created. It makes these Macs dramatically faster, provides all new capabilities with extraordinary battery life, and enables the Mac to run more software than ever. This is exactly why we are transitioning the Mac to Apple Silicon. At Apple, our mission is to create products that play a meaningful role in people's lives. 2020 has been a year unlike any other in so many ways. We're inspired by the strength, resilience, and creativity we've seen displayed by people all around the world. We're also extremely proud of our teams and the work they've done to deliver such incredible products during these challenging times. We're looking forward to seeing what you will do with these products. We're also looking forward to 2021 and bringing even more amazing experiences to you. Thank you for joining us. Stay safe, stay well, and have a great day. Wait, 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 stop, hang on, wait.
Uh, one more thing. Hi, I'm a PC. Is there time for questions? Good, because I have one. Why? Why? Why make all these advancements? What's the point? Right? Oh, you're so quiet now. Look, I'm a machine. I'm proud of it. That's my fan. Longer battery life. Plug it in. Where are you going? Just plug it in. Fast. I'm fast. I'm still fast. Check it out. Still got it. PC. Still got it. I've always been there. I always will be. Fast. Okay. My battery's drained. I gotta go plug in. Good luck.